We're going to look at Windows 10. <laughs> Such a dirty feeling. Um, some folks have said, why is a Linux-centric show looking at Windows? Right. Why does this happen? Pourquoi? Well, and it's just the simple case. And if you're watching this on linuxtechshow.com, for example, and you're saying, why are they talking about Windows 10? Well, because a lot of folks use it, and mm -hmm. we're genuinely here to help, and we want to make it easier for all users. But, hey, we will say, hey, if you're not happy with Windows 10, why don't you switch to Maybe Ubuntu check out or Linux Mint or, you know, what have mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in the back of your mind when they say, uh, hey, don't forget to try Linux Mint. That's what we're here for. Uh, but we're going to look at uh, an issue that you encountered this week, and a lot of other people have come across this after mm -hmm. a recent update on uh -oh. Microsoft Windows 10, right. and that is this bad boy. I was so confused Dang. when I saw that. It, what is happening? I was like, ah, how, what? The, it's like, uh, I'm thinking Windows 8 vibes, you know, when they came out with the panels. Oh, Remember that? Oh, yeah. But it was horrible. That's when, so when you see that up on your screen, you're like, okay, well, I'm going to click on my start menu, right? Yeah. So three, mm -hmm. two, one, click. Three, two, one, click. I know. And it does nothing. Windows, why? Click. Uh, what do I do? Where? I, like, I right clicked oops. on a whole bunch oh, of those tiles. That's different. Start. Oh. And I hid mm. them. I thought maybe that would help. Did you try hiding them? Yeah. Did you try turning it off and on again? Yeah. I, I, I tried a lot of things. Uh. <laughs> and you're not the first. And so yeah. when, when you encountered it this week, I was like, there's something odd here. Yeah. Because I've been getting a lot of folks saying, this is how my computer looked after today's update. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. you start clicking around, and you're trying to figure it out, and you're going to laugh at how incredibly simple... It is to fix this problem. Okay, show me. But it's important no. for you to know. Okay. Like, I didn't want to just fix it and just leave it fixed and, and then have it happen again, and you're not sure how to fix it. Mm -hmm. Because it's like two clicks, and you're back to normal. Oh. Wow. What has happened here is that Windows 10 has, for some reason, determined that you are using a tablet. So I what was, you whoa. see there is, in fact, the touchscreen interface of uh, a Windows 10 tablet. I was so mm. close in my guess. Yeah? Well, remember mm -hmm. I, when I asked you for help, I was like, my view is wrong or something. Like, it's my view. It is. It was in a tablet view. I was right. There you go. Okay, so tell wow. me how to fix it. Nice. All right. Can you <laughs> see how easy this is to fix? There are a couple of different ways to fix this. So, first of all, if you click on the notifier on the bottom right, that's going to bring up this dialog, and it looks like that. If you instead hit the Windows button and A, it's going to do exactly the same thing. Okay? So, those are two different ways to bring up that dialog. When I bring that up, at the bottom left, you see a button that says Tablet Mode. Yes. Click on it and you're back to Windows 10 the way that you're used to. Mind huh. <laughs> Literally, it's that simple. I've got my taskbar back. I can bring back up Discord just the way I normally do. Hi, world. <laughs> Everything's back to normal. Wow. So if you find yourself in this state where, hey, this is welcome to tablet mode, and here I go, boom, now I'm stuck. Windows button A, turn off tablet mode. That is funny. And you're back That's in amazing. business. Such a simple fix, right? That, you're, it's simple, wow. but not like who would, do, people people would think for, of that? People are looking, they're right clicking on everything. I, they're that's, trying to that drag was me. Things, they're trying to go into settings and set things. Well, let's yeah. just come back for a second to yeah. the fact that I had just done my, my laptop. Mm -hmm. I was like on this high of ability. Oh, yeah. oh. And then you get onto Windows 10 and, and it's like, oh. And then I, was like, I don't understand. <laughs> the paradigm is completely shifted. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> One other way that we can kind of make this more permanent is to go into your settings mm -hmm. and go into system. And on the, l uh, let's see, ta left-hand side, tablet mode, you'll see, this is what happened. Use the appropriate mode for my hardware. So for some reason, that determined that your hardware was appropriately a tablet. Well, no, let's just set it to use desktop mode, and then mm -hmm. I never have to worry about it again if Windows thinks I'm on a tablet for some crazy yeah. reason. It At least now in the settings, I've said, just leave it in desktop mode. Quit messing with things, Windows. Still don't leave things open overnight because you know it's going to reboot for you. True. Uh, but that's it. It's mm -hmm. called tablet mode. There's how you disable it temporarily mm -hmm. and more permanently as well. As permanent as Windows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're going to reset it with the next update. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you.